Kia ora, ko Sharon Holt tōko ingoa. My name is Sharon Holt. I'm the author of Te Reo Sing Along books and I also perform Te Reo Sing Along shows around New Zealand with my husband Alan and I'm also very interested in helping teachers and anyone else who wants to learn about pronunciation of Te Reo, adding more phrases and sentences um, and making Te Reo fun to use because too many people are stuck on colours, numbers, greetings and commands and I want to show people how to go beyond that. One of the ways that I do that is on my Patreon site, patreon.com forward slash Sharon Holt. Uh, you can have a look at free videos there, I've got lots of videos there. Um, you can subscribe for two US dollars a month, which is about three New Zealand dollars a month, and have access to all of the mainly short videos that I do about pronunciation, phrases, sentences, some about how to use Te Reo Sing Along books to help you on your Māori language journey and it's a way you can learn in your own time at your own pace. So one of the things I'm going to be doing on Patreon uh, soon is I'm going to be exploring some of the things that are in our new picture dictionary. So as well as having me on the, app, the Zappa app, um, in Patreon, um, I'll be doing more full videos about some of these things, just to make it clear. One of the interesting things with um, the differences between English and Te Reo is that uh, some things that in English are plural, in Te Reo they're not plural, or and vice versa. So if we were saying kei here tō, as you might say to a little child, oh, where's your mouth? And they point to their mouth. Kei here tō waha. Kei here tō waha. Then if you want to say a plural thing, for example, kei here o niho, where are your teeth? Kei here o. So the difference is just we change the tō singular to o plural. Sometimes the thing that we think is going to be singular, for example, here, we, we don't say where are your hairs in English, we say where is your hair, but in Te Reo we actually use it as a plural. Makawe is hair and it, it, it applies to all of these hairs on our body. So ke hair or makawe is where are your hairs, but in Te Reo that is correct because there's more than one hair there, isn't there? So there's a few things like that that are just a bit different with Te Reo, and this is a great book for pointing that out. And if you would like to investigate more about my Patreon videos, you're very welcome to at patreon.com forward slash Sharon Holt. Hope to see you there. Ka kite.